Game On magazine is chatting to Gavin Moses Adams, one of South Africa's most prolific skateboarders. Gavin, thanks for joining us. How are you today? Uh, no pleasure, man. I'm very, I'm very good in myself. Can't complain, man. Let's get right into it. Gavin, how did you get involved in skateboarding? I uh, actually threw my brother and his friend. I was just watched him skate outside uh, just on the pavement, just watching him. And I, just, I was just like, I started skating when I was nine. So I was just sitting outside, just watching what they were doing. And I actually like wanted to know, like I didn't even know the tricks of the board or the name or anything. I just wanted to try what they did. So then since that day, they got me aboard, and ever since then, I didn't stop. Gavin, you are sponsored by Red Bull. One of your sponsors is Red Bull. Talk a little bit about what it takes to be a skater in South Africa. What are your day-to-day runnings? You know, what is it that you actually do day-to-day? Well, every day, like, you just wake up. You have to obviously, like, push yourself to a limit. Like, if you want to be somewhere and be successful and, like, push your career, for, push your career further, you still have to be the same person as be yourself and not be, like, just because you're good it doesn't mean you have to have a big head. And then also, like, watch other skateboards international, like, watch what they do and what they do, like, a routine every day. Wake up every morning, do, like, push-ups or play soccer or run or something like that, just to keep your body still fit. And the main thing is to just stretch a lot, because, like, then, if you stretch a lot, it increases your, 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 actually, your living expense, and you can actually, you can actually skate for much longer every day, if you, every day if you stretch. Definitely, Gavin. Who would you say your support base has been? Who's been there for you since day one? My, actually, my little brother, my dad, my parents, and uh, most of my friends as well. They've always been there for me. And your role models? Who do you look up to in the sport? For me, um, Paul Rodriguez International. And then my local people is obviously Christy Vian, Alan Marola. Um, I look up to my younger brother as well. He's very good. Yeah, there's a lot of people. My older brother as well. He's the one that actually got me to skateboarding. Gavin, you've competed at the Red Bull Hold the Line in London, as well as the street skateboarding in Barcelona. Let's talk a little bit about how South Africans fare on the international scene, and how did it change your professional setup? You know, how, how did it help you as a skateboarder? Well, like when I went, like I got the invite, I was like, I didn't expect it to be like I was like, oh no, this is probably a scam or whatever. So I emailed them back, and they were like, no, it's not. This is real. So I actually sent them an email to come obviously to come to an event to Barcelona and from Barcelona go to London, skate the events. And then I met a lot of different people and like a lot of skaters that's good. And that actually taught me a lot about um like how how it's supposed to be instead of just skating all the time and just want to skate to board and like from the States and being in SA is completely different. And like ever since then I've been overseas and came back everything just changed. Gavin, you know, one of the big things about you, having read about you on the internet, is that you don't really skate traditional skate parks. You prefer more the street scene. That's Why fine. is that? Why do you enjoy that more? I just like, it's more, it's more actually, it's, it's well, you skate, it, it's, everything is open. You can go to the beach or whatever. It's just like, you can make, you can be more creative on the street than actually a skate park, because the skate park will always be there. And like, obviously, like, you can always find different uh, unique spots that no one else skated or find spots that they skated and do something completely different on that specific spot. Gavin, what's next for you? Where do you see yourself going with your career? Well, I'm actually trying. I want to actually move to the States and further my career there. I'm actually going to Barcelona next month again for Street League. I got the invite again. And then, Gavin, as we end off, if you had a special message for the next generation of young South African skateboarders, what would you say to them? Well, if they want to be where they want to be, like if they want to actually push their career further and just want to skate, then that's what they want to do. They have to keep their head in the game and just be themselves and not get a big head when once they get good. And also, they must never forget about the people that help them out and then we'll also like push them and open the doors for them as well. Gavin, Game On Magazine would like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for spending some time with us as we learn more about you and your skating aspirations. And we wish you all the best with your future endeavors. No problem. Thank you very much, guys.